In February 2018, a local organization closed, rather unexpectedly. This closure left the 250 animals who were under their care needing new homes. These animals included many species of bats, owls, flying squirrels, a sloth, and a frog. The Detroit Zoological Society worked closely with other accredited institutions around the country to assist the local organization to find appropriate lifelong homes for more than 200 animals. Over 60 of the animals were taken to the zoo to find their permanent homes. Some of these animals included 54 bats of three different species. One of these species is a straw-colored fruit bat. They're a large fruit bat whose name gives you an idea of their color. Their conservation status is near threatened, and they are found in the wild in the southwestern Arabian Peninsula. The thing about bats is they are not floor dwellers like other mammals that live at the zoo. Bats spend most of their lives hanging upside down and flying. Their feet actually are in the relaxed position when they are clenched shut. This meant that their permanent habitat space would need to be modified to allow the bats to participate in the species specific behavior, essential to bats welfare or overall well-being. These modifications included adding vines and small perching opportunities in their habitat, as well as adding mesh to the walls and ceilings for them to cling to. Another animal from this organization who now permanently calls the zoo home is molasses, or mo for short, the Lynn's two-toed sloth. Sloths have shaggy fur that can be grayish brown to beige. Sloths have two long nails that curve at the tip of the front of their feet and three on their hind legs. Sloths spend nearly all their time hanging from tree branches with a powerful grip that's aided by their long claws. As this animal welfare tale shows, the Detroit Zoological Society is committed to helping animals in need, regardless of their species or conservation status. When possible, we follow through on this commitment by providing sanctuary for animals like these bats recognizing in that doing so we are accepting responsibility for providing their care for their whole lives. One way that you can join us in ensuring the great welfare of animals is by helping companion animals in need. Many dogs, cats, and other companion animals are in need of forever homes. If you are considering bringing home a companion animal to your family, you can help by adopting one from an animal shelter instead of buying one from a breeder. And even if you aren't able to adopt a companion animal, you can help by volunteering at an animal shelter.